Three, two, one. What's up, guys? It's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to my draft analysis for the PBAL. Now, I am not here alone. I am here with two very special guests. Guys, would you like to introduce yourselves? Troy? <laughs> sure. Um, sadly, to... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's, it's, it's a dead meme. Yo, what's good? It's Troyless. Um, I am back <clears throat> from the dead. Um, and here to talk about Pokemon. I used magic juju to bring him back. Just oh, we did. Yeah. Resurrected. Uh, I'm also resurrected. Hello. It's Erastamus. Welcome back, Wolfpack. Oh, Welcome back, Boomer oh, Pack. No. <laughs> didn't, he, did, didn't he get like yeeted off of everything i honestly don't know because i think he blocked me so uh, uh, i think he got yeeted off of everything excellent That's i hope you like did to hear anyway we are here for a reason and that is to go through my draft for my very first wi-fi based gen 8 league pbbl so i think this is the first for all of us yeah i think we're in agreement there so we're all kind of like yo what what the fuck is good uh so we've we've kind of all gone for teams what we think are, are pretty decent we're all quite happy with what we got i would say aren't we guys yeah i think we all did relatively well i think i i, I for me personally i went in with next to no plan whatsoever because yes. i had a <laughs> i had a later position so i was just kind of rolling with whatever made it to me is what i was going to pick up Where was I? I, was, I was roughly in the middle wasn't i um mm. you where fourth? were you? Uh, you were fourth or fifth, fourth out, or like fifth. twelve, maybe. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. I don't remember where you guys were, but we all we all kind of like squatted together to kind of come up with plans for e for each other, so we didn't snipe and stuff. I don't actually think I really got sniped, other than for Lucario. I think that was like yeah. Exciting. So I mean, I'm just excited to kind of. I've got quite a lot of new things in here, so I'm excited to use them. Um, should we just get into the first Pokemon? Hi, let's do it. So, um, a disclaimer before I even reveal the very first thing. Uh, I forgot that Dynamaxing wasn't a thing. So uh, <laughs> my round one pick was a bit questionable. Um, and that's because my round one pick was a Gyarados. So Gyarados, we all know what Gyarados does. It has Intimidate, it has Moxie, it can be bulky. That, what was that? That sounded like something breaking. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Troy is making sushi right now, by the way. Pretty fitting, because I've got a big old fish on my screen Good right grief. now. Um, yeah, we've got obviously <laughs> Gyarados, Intimidate, Bulkymon, or Moxie Sweeper, Dragon Dance. It does get Power Whip now, so actually the, the amount of things that can switch into Gyarados has just dropped massively. Um, I think, oh, especially with things like Gastrodon and Seismitoad around, they're just two things that would have walled this thing previously, and now they don't. Um, obviously, if I... If Dynamaxing was a thing, this thing would be amazing with Airstream, with Power Whip, with Geyser. But that doesn't happen. So now I just have a bulky fish. Just I mean, yeah. I think you're kind of underselling it. I think it has a I, I think it has a tremendous amount of flexibility. And yeah. while it probably wasn't, you know, a round one pick, I don't think it's a bad pick at it's not, all. And it is S tier. Yeah. And you know, we've all, how many S tiers did we draft? We all drafted one. Yeah, drafted one S tier. Um, uh, Troy and I both drafted two. So I did. Yeah. I, think I did want to draft two initially, but then I think because of the way the pricing system worked for the free picks, I wasn't able to. <laughs> to be honest, I think you got a better return on what you were doing anyway. So I, I think I. Th Sorry. Sorry guys. So I would agree with you as well. I think, yeah i think uh, it's um it, it's kind of a, a tricky thing to see so like if you're looking at like all the s tiers obviously there's a reason why they're in that tier and there's a reason why they're good um and i think some people maybe were kind of looking at those just to just for the sake of getting them um and only very very rarely i think could you have like two s tier mons i mean like which actually came back around a tremendous, yeah yeah yeah, yeah that's Dom, it galarian form Dom went pretty quick so did dragapult i think dragapult was first pick of the draft yeah, Dragapult's, I mean, like, it's 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 outsped, like, by six things that aren't yeah. legendaries total. It's insane. So, yeah, that thing's going to be spooky. Like, so I understand why that went first. But, yeah, I mean, I don't know what there was left when I was there. Um, I imagine I could have had something like uh, Excadrill or maybe, a, I don't know if Age Slash went before me. I mean, even Cold Knight is S tier. I mean, I don't know what it's like in draft format, but... Good. I, I don't know what it's like in Very, series, very good. <laughs> it's just like Skarmory, but... Better? Versatile. More versatile. More versatile. 
because it can hit more offensively as well, I guess. But, but yeah, yeah I, I, I mean, that was my round one pick. I don't know if you guys really have much else to say about Gyarados because we all kind of know what Gyarados does. I, I think, I think the addition of, I think the meta being a lot slower and the fact that this is a relatively flexible mon, you can draft it, you can run it very, very bulky, you can run it very, very offensively. I think you're gonna. I think if you're smart with the way that you um, EV it, I think you're going to get away with a lot of wins because either something doesn't do enough damage or just something gets walloped that wasn't expected to get walloped. Yeah, like just a random choice band Gyarados. Water yeah, exactly. Or power Whip or Earthquake or Stone Edge or whatever other sort of coverage it gets, Ice Band. Yeah, and then like sub Subtaunt, it's got a relatively good special move pool. Not that I would recommend it, but... You know. <laughs> Yeah, it's situational, but it could it could work. Nasty plot pass into Gyarados confirmed. <laughs> and the thing, the thing is, it gets Thunder Wave too, right? You could you could run sub T wave, sub taunt. Yeah, why, does, why does this thing even get T wave? Like, uh, I don't know, it but it's it's, it's 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 bloody good, and especially with as we get farther into the draft, having that kind of flexibility, especially speed control, would end up helping you out a lot. I think the fact it's new to ground and has intimidate kind of patterns up in the team quite well as well but we'll get into that a bit later on once the team has been revealed so that was like we said i was kind of like mid-draft Gyarados was my tier one pick um kind of looking at it on paper i realized how nicely uh, my next one kind of partnered up with it and that was duraludon oh shit hang on uh, there we go duraludon so <laughs> i haven't I'm, i've messed up within seven minutes already like i haven't actually seen much of duraludon in singles i'm assuming it's probably okay in singles um it's probably better in a draft format rather than I, OU maybe yeah absolutely because mm. i mean it's got a decent move pool it's actually a base 85 speed i think which is you know, yes it's not what you'd expect for it but um like it's really bulky physically it hits really hard especially it does okay like physically offensive wise but not that i'd ever really probably bring that um the only kind of like negative factor of it is its special defense is like the same as Kartana's, it's ridiculously stupidly low. Um, so I may have to watch out for special threats, but I, like this thing can just be choice specs, it could be life orb, it can be AV, it can be weakness policy. And this is all my experience from doubles, by the way, because I'm much more into VGC this year and I'm just kind of used to seeing it in there. Um, it, I think it also gets a totemized as well, so just like a random plus two Duraludon would be um, kind speedy of, quick balls. Yeah, kind of scary. I don't... Too. I don't think it gets a totemized, but it does get sword stance. I'm, I'm sure it gets a totemized, does it not? No, I'm just I'm looking right now. No, I thought it did. Nope. Uh, okay, maybe not then. I I I do not speak the truth. But I mean, like even then, it still gets it still gets screens. It still gets physical setup. It's again relatively fast for a very very slow meta, mm. and it's got the power to back up being a really really good wall breaker. Mm. And as as we were speaking about before, you've got you've already got a mon that has speed options. Not that it would always want to be running T wave, but a fast Duraludon is absolutely terrifying. Yeah, I mean obviously with what stab Draco, stab flash cannon. I mean stab steel beam if I really want. Oh to. my god! Kill yeah. Something. Um, it does get Thunderbolt yeah. for coverage as well. And it does get Stone Edge, Stomping Tantrum, Rock Slide, Night Slash, Outrage, Heavy Slam, Foul Play. Gets t this also gets Thunder Wave as well. It does. Mm. Yeah. It does. I'm going to one. Yeah. I'm gonna run Heavy Metal. Oh, no, wait. Body Press isn't based on weight, is it? No. no so it gets no, Heavy Slam. It does get Heavy Slam. And then, like, lesser, yeah. lesser... I mean, it gets Iron Defense. <clears throat> Troy, you said your Corp Knight was going to be Iron Defense. <laughs> uh, I, 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 I saw it in a video. It looked like Iron Defense, Body Press looked pretty cool. But, yeah. um, I mean, yeah, like, Duraludon seems to be pretty... And that's, that's the thing. With Draft Leagues, you need something that's going to be versatile. And you when you've got a, de a decent typing dragon, um, which basically acts as two parts of a decent core. Mm. Uh, that is fairly speedy quick, got loads of, of, of different offensive options, can run bulky as well. Like, yeah. it, it kind of kind of writes itself, really. Yeah, and um, it synergizes with Gyarados' weaknesses really well. So obviously, Duraludon is weak to ground and fighting, which um, obviously Gyarados is immune to and resists, plus with Intimidate, so most 
most fighting types you would say are physical so that kind of works really well then obviously Gyarados weak to rock which Duraldon resists and again mainly physical uh, sort of threats which Duraldon's high defense can kind of negate um, and also electric it resists electric too I don't think Gyarados has any other weaknesses I um... think they're the main two because they're yeah. obviously not weak. So like they just they just synergize with each other really well. Um, mm. Agreed. So it could be like a nice little little pairing to go along with like the defensive core I've kind of built later on in the draft anyway. But yeah, I don't really have anything right. else to say about Duraladon. It's just kind of like a scary, scary threat, really. <laughs> yeah. So, third mon. Um, I know they're kind of like bulky offensive mons anyway, with kind of like middling speed, but I kind of wanted to focus on like an actual defensive core. Plus I needed hazard removal and I kind of wanted a fairy. So the perfect thing for that role was Galarian Weezing. So the second new addition to the team from Gen 8. Um, I didn't really sort of realise what sort of moves it got compared to normal Weezing uh, since Gen 8. Because I haven't really seen it used in competitive much. Um, I didn't realise it gets Defog, which apparently it does. Um, what's, its, what's its hidden... No, not hidden. Um, its signature move. Something gas? Uh... The signature ability is neutralizing gas. Oh, so its ability is yeah, neutralizing gas. I feel like that's going to be less important this in this meta. May, obviously, more so maybe in doubles. Um, levitate is obviously it still has levitate, which is really fantastic because it covers its ground weakness. Um, mm. I mean, what is it? It's something steam. No, what is it? Something steam. Is it special? steam surge? No. Oh, it gets misty surge as well. Now I'm thinking of its um. Oh, strange steam. And I can't. Yeah, that might be the one. Uh, 20, 90 base power, fairy move, 20% chance to confuse the target. So it's like Moonblast. Or... Moonblast except with a tremendous upside. Yeah, of actually having a really good chance to confuse something. I'm just looking at this thing's move pool. It's actually dumb. Um, it's got default. It gets Toxic Spikes. You've got Clear Smog, so it can get rid of people's stats boost. It gets Will-O-Wisp, Aromatherapy. You've still got all your fire moves like Flamethrower and Heat Wave, Fire Blast. You've obviously got Sludge Wave, Sludge Bomb. Uh, strange steam um what else actual toxic itself toxic i think is going to be pretty good this gen because not many things get it obviously because it was removed from being a tm it's mainly poison types that get toxic now and obviously it can't Why? Miss. and I, I because of a short timer i think toxic store is going to be less viable anyway um but when your opponent's got something particularly bulky that you may struggle with i think that's going to be a really nice sort of thing you can rely on um, it gets taunt as well, so I think that's two taunt users I've got now. Um, so if maybe I am facing a slightly stally team. Um, Weezing can, can counteract that. I have got the big boom if I need to explode in someone's face. And I have Destiny Bond as well. So like this thing's move pool is all over the place. But it does <laughs> fairly similar to what Weezing did, I think. It's just got way more things going for it than regular This is just does. what everyone wished Weezing was. If we're being 100% honest, like yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's got a tremendous typing. The fact that it gets haze and momentum means that, you know, if you, well, if, yeah. if you're coming in on something that's setting up, you can take care of them. Memento means that you can get basically a free turn of setup. Um, it's just absolutely tremendous. Mm. And then I think in the team, again, as we'll see at the end, I've got quite a lot of setup, like, op like things that can utilize setup. So, Maybe Memento and a dying Weezing could be the play that wins me a game. See, yeah, like you said, it's just, it's really good. Obviously, it's got three incredibly good abilities that I think any of them could come at any kind of, op like, opportunity, really. Um, maybe Misty Surge, not so much. But again, you know, not being able to be statused by anything is kind of nice. I'm a poison type, so I can't be poisoned. Um, yeah, I just think Weezing's going to be a really nice bulky option. Um, the only thing it's kind of missing is reliable recovery of its own. Um, I don't even I... know if it gets doesn't get Giga Drain, which is a shame. It lost, um, it yeah, it lost pretty much everything. It lost Pain Split? No, it still gets yeah. Pain Split. Does it still get Pain Split? It does? Jesus yeah. Christ. Oh, yeah, it does Why didn't I... Split. I... I tell a lie then. It also gets Stockpile and Spit Up and all that jazz. I'm just looking through the rest of the moves now. Um, mm. I mean, it gets Thunder. What? Since when did it get Thunder? Oh, no, it used to get Thunderbolt, I think, didn't it? Good grief. I mean, yeah, it's just got really good move pool. And it's bulky, like its defense stats are what? I mean, its HP stat isn't much, but 120 defense. And 70 special defense. 70 special defense. So I think, like most of the time, probably be special defensive invested. But yeah, mm. I think that's pretty much it for Weezing. 
Um, next up, I decided I would like some sort of support for Weezing. Um, especially as when running Levitate, I think its only weaknesses are Steel and Psychic. Um, which again, with Gyarados and the um, Duraludon, I can kind of deal with the Steel side of things. Um, but the Psychic side, obviously I haven't got a Psychic Resist. Dark types are pretty important for that particular reason, because a lot of Psychic types can just run through teams. Um, I decided to go for Umbreon, mainly for the Dark Typing and Wish support. Um, it's a slow baton passer, so I'm able to pretty safely get a Wish off to anything else I wish. And obviously Gyarados, Duraludon, Weezing, and a lot of the rest of my draft don't have a lot of recovery they can rely on themselves. So I kind of thought this would be like a, a really good addition. Um, along with the fact that it's only weak to Bug and Fighting, which again... Oh, and Fairy, but Galarian Weezing resists all of those typings. So they synergize again really, really well. I don't think there's much more to Umbreon other than the fact it has Wish, maybe a bit of stab foul play every now and then um, against potential like physical mons that are setting up Sword Stance in my face. I don't think it gets many new toys this generation. I'm just looking at the moves now. Um, not really anything I can I can really notice. I mean, do you guys have much else you want to add about Umbreon? I know, I think Ethan... I mean, did you say you wanted Umbreon, Ethan? Or am I making that No, up? I hate Umbreon. Umbreon <laughs> I'd rather die than use Umbreon. I mean, I've never used it before, so I'm quite... I'm quite excited to be honest. I mean, it's I think I think in the context of this team it makes sense, but you're going to I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if this is going to I don't know if you're going to get the return on this specific mon. I mean, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out, yeah. We'll yeah. find out. Like yeah. we don't know the meta. Yeah, we don't know if there's many psychic types we've been running about to be honest. Um and I do get things later on in my draft that can deal with psychic types. But I think at the time, mm. I would have probably considered Vaporeon as well if I didn't take Gyarados round one. But because I already had a water type, I didn't want to become heavy on one uh, type yeah. and gain yeah. weakness to yeah. like electric, grass, whatever. So I personally felt Umbreon was, was a really good fit at this time. But I mean, like other than... I think the wishes, the wishes guaranteeing like free switch-ins to things like Gyarados and Duraludon. Yeah. I think if you flex that, it'll become really, really worthwhile. Again, I, yeah, sorry, go on. You just, need, you just need to play aggressive with it. You yeah. need to play aggressive with those with the uh, wishes. I mean, flex mm. the fact that if something's going to come in, take a big hit, and then be back at like 70 80%. Yeah, but this is why I also baton pass on it. I can run slow baton pass, so if I want Umbreon to take the hit. I, yeah. If I can yeah. wish, um, for example. Yeah, like curse. Because you can do like a curse baton pass into trick room kind of kind of vibe like especially when you're looking at a lot of the kind of predominant physical and special threats in the meta like mm -hmm. a lot of them rely on being super speedy quick so like it, it, it does give you some options i think ethan's right like i don't think it's got the kind of versatility there's, there's stuff to talk about it that all, like the previous three picks kind of have so it seems a little bit lackluster um but i think also that like people would probably have to prepare for it like they'll have to calc what it does to umbreon so that you don't have that chance to do any kind of setup or mm. get the kind of like play the cleric role um that you probably wanted to so i mean that's his predominant role i'm not planning on bringing it as anything else like it doesn't have the stats to do anything else really mm. yeah the fact that it doesn't get toxic anymore it's is bad news yeah bad. that's a big one i don't think toxic is going to become too important this generation i think Honestly, I think, I think the I think the games are gonna go quick, yeah. too quick. Well, they have to because it's only twenty minutes. So, I think this this is. I always like playing a more aggressive style. I don't like playing stally style. So I think this generation is gonna play into my favor. Um, but I think maybe there are times where you will have to rely on bulk and playing the timer down. Um, so having something like Umbreon could be nice, especially if you eliminate the things that could kill Umbreon early on, because otherwise it's not gonna die. Hmm. That's my take on it anyway. I like I um, that's the only reason I have it is for a cleric role, healing cleric role. Um next up I did decide to go for a psychic type of my own and we've gone for Orb Beetle. Um trying to think back, I don't actually remember why I picked it. Um but Orb Beetle is actually another really scary mon. Um it's deceitfully fast, it's got base ninety speed, 
Um, Which is insane. Which, uh, yeah. So yeah. If you look at it, you wouldn't expect it to have base 90 speed. Um, it gets frisk, so I can identify people's items. That's um, good. It gets sticky webs. Um, yeah. It gets recover, so it can heal itself. It also gets um, giga drain, so it can heal through doing damage, but obviously recover is the play there. Um, it gets baton pass, it gets agility, it gets calm mind, it gets iron defense, it gets both screens coverage wise. I mean, it gets U-turn as well. So if I did need to like run um, momentum sort of a momentum sort of boosting type move, um, I mean, its coverage is kind of meh. It gets giga drain, psychic, um, shadow ball. That's about it really for like coverage. But um, it does get stored power as well. And with all those sort of like stat boosting moves, this thing can become a threat real fast. This also, um, you can also run uh, Hypnosis Blunder Policy with Baton Pass. Yeah, that's also a thing too. And, you know, looking at what else we've seen so far, Draladon, Gyarados, both of those would like yes, receiving speed boosts. That, yeah. Hi. I mean, Draladon, plus two speed against a team that's worn down. Where I can just lock into Choice Specs Flash Cannon or Choice Specs Dragon Pulse or Steel Beam or whatever just to take two very nice quick kills or even Gyarados, it's... you know, just Choice Band Gyarados at plus two speed. It's just insanely broken. Why not? I mean, yeah. I, I put some, put something to sleep or you miss a move and then slow Baton Pass into something. It's yeah. just, it's, bro it's, it's insane. Not it's to broken. mention that it also has base 110 defense and 120 special defense. Uh, exactly. Base, base sixty uh, HP. Like this, this thing's pretty cool. I'm really excited to use it. Actually, I think out of all of the new things, this is actually the thing I'm more like excited to use. Oh yeah, and it gets Trick Room. And <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I don't think I have a team that's really going to benefit from Trick Room too much. Um, looking at it, but it's it's an option, especially if my opponent's got a team which favors Trick Room, then I can bring Trick Room myself and obviously revert it. And make my opponent's life hell. Um, yeah, I think it's good to have it as an option at least. Yeah. Um, because, like, yeah, most most of them are like relatively quick. Um, but again, it, it, it's it's coming back like just to versatility in in draft and like having that and being able to utilize that even just for you know you've got Umbreon which is pretty slow. Got a couple of other ones which are like slightly slower speed tier, mm. um, and like it's a good, like that kind of speed control is like quite good counter to a lot of the uh, offensive threats, which literally I think every draft struggles with. So, a lot of this, a lot. If we're kind of like recapping what's been going on so far, a lot of this just feels like uh, set up for making Gyarados and Duraludon really, really good in a mm. bunch of different situations. You know, you have options to set up screens. You have options to make relatively slow mons really, really fast. You have options to set up trick room if you need to. There's a there's a lot of uh, awareness for those speed tiers, mm -hmm. and I think I think it's it's the more we talk about it, the more gross this looks. <laughs> people be sleeping. It's all good. This is how I want people to be. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's all Beetle. I don't, I'm conscious I don't want to make this video too long, but we're 23 minutes in already. So we go on to pick number six, and now we're going to go for some more offensive boys and girls in the team. We're going to take Chandelure round six. Um, yeah, I was saying to these guys before we started recording, Pursuit is no longer a thing in the game, so you can't be Pursuit trapped. Um, obviously, Ghost hits most types other than Dark and Normal. I think that's just it. Um, obviously with fire coverage as well and stab, like overheat, fire blast, whatever I want to run on this thing. Chandelure has always been a solid mon in any type of like Pokemon competitive format, like whether it be Smogun, whether, whether it be VGC, whether it be Draft, like it's hey, Jack. attack is monstrous. Do you want to know a fun fact? Go on. Oh. Chandelure is tied for having the highest special attack in the game with Eternatus, Vikavolt, and Cursula. I actually didn't know that. Yeah. So it's got the highest it's, special attack in the game. Yeah, basically. It's insane. And it's fast. Yeah, it gets, what, base eight, again, base 80 speed, also with established Trick Room. Mm -hmm. uh, this thing gets Trick Room as well, actually. I, 
again, completely didn't even think about that. Oh, bloody hell. It, I mean, it gets, <laughs> it gets a really good offensive move pool, which is what you'd hope for something with such a high special attack. You've got energy ball, flamethrower. Um, you can run a hex set if you if I was running toxic spikes, for example. Shadow ball, overheat, fire blast, uh, will o' wisp, taunt again, trick again. Um, what else am I looking at? Uh, I did see something else. Again, another memento user, another haze user. Um, oh, they get, um, haze? they get haze. That actually kind of makes sense. He gets in prison. Um, could. Could That's be cool. In, like I could run in prison trick room if I didn't want to actually try and revert trick room. I could imprison someone who may be bringing it. Um, it gets curse, which could be interesting. I love a good old ghost curse type, um, or curse move. Sorry. Uh, what else does it get? I mean, you could yeah. run. Um, uh, you could run acid armor, calm mind. I mean, I could, but I'd have to be an absolute madman to do that. <laughs> I mean, it gets flash fire, so it, it gives me a fire switch in, which honestly I don't really have other than Gyarados. So potentially it could get a flash fire boost as well. Um, it does get infiltrate us, so it can ignore screens. And I feel like screens are going to be quite big in draft because it's a quick place game, mm. a quick paced format. So getting your screens up, allowing you to actually kind of like set up to sweep might be like someone's plan in a lot of games. So I feel like infiltrate could be quite useful. Um, and it gets flame body as well, so if I do have to go for the Hail Mary play and just sack this thing off to a physical potential sweeper and I get the burn, all is good with life. So, again, three viable abilities. This thing can run many different items. I could run, like, I could run Blunder Policy on this with Fire Blast. Um, what other? I guess, it, does it get Inferno in this? Uh... It does. I'm running Blunder Policy Inferno. Gross. Because I've run, I, hit, gross. I hit Inferno and guarantee a burn on a switch, or I miss and get plus two. Gross. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I, should, I never actually thought I should, about that before. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't have told you about Blunder Policy. <laughs> I, you I mean, I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't have to play either of these guys, just that's the way how it works. Which is a shame, because I think I would like to have played them, but at least in the league part of the season, I don't have to play them. I so yeah, like I'm gonna be running Blunder Policy Inferno on this thing one week and <laughs> sweeping some poor soul with it. So yeah, I mean, do you guys have anything else to say about Chandler? No, it's just it's it's really strong. It's really good. It's really gross. Agreed. Yeah, yeah. I think um, just just having the immunities is a, is a good thing for you. Oh yeah, um, I didn't think about Already, already mentioned about the speed tiers, but like, yeah, having a normal immunity, having the fire immunity, so that you have like a second reliable switch in in case you need like more defensive well, mons for like all Yeah, I'd be surprised at this point as well if anyone even bothered bringing a fighting type against me. Yeah, um... yeah, you do quite well <laughs> against it mostly. Out of the um, six if you were if, if you were playing Troy, he probably could have brought his, but most people, yeah. What's what's Troy's fighting type? Gelly two. But yeah, Galilee didn't hit one top. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. All right, anyway, that's Chandler. Up next, I know that both you guys wanted this one, yeah? Or Troy did at least, potentially, want this. Uh, we, both, we both talked about it, I think. Apologies um, there was a snipes ease here. But, um... No, it's okay, because we, we, I think we, I think the discussion ended up being, yeah, it actually suits his better than both of ours, <laughs> so let's go yeah. tell him about it. <laughs> So these guys are lovely and helped. So I did go with the round seven Raichu. And again, we spoke about this one before we were going to record the draft. This thing gets, um, well, we think it's quite low tier for what it actually is. It does. The versatility yeah. mm. you get. Because obviously Pikachu is the baby child of the Pokemon company, series, Nintendo, whoever. Um, it gets all these fantastically stupid moves, which you wouldn't expect from a Raichu. And for the tier it's in, it's probably best than Jolteon and probably better than Manectric. Oh no, it absolutely is. It's it's, it's, yeah, yeah. it's insane how bad Jolteon and Manectric are right now. Because their move yeah. pools are just so... It's so without hidden power, bad, yeah, without hidden power, they're so nerfed. Whereas Raichu, yeah. we were just saying, it gets Nasty Plot. I mean, it's not really bulky to use Nasty Plot, but it gets Nasty Plot. Um, it can be run physically offensive or especially offensive because it's got 90 in the both stat. It gets Surf now. It gets Play Rough now. Obviously, it still gets all its electric moves. Um, it gets Fake Out still. It gets Encore for some shenanigans there. Um, it's Wish Pass if I really wanted to run Wish on it. 
Um, maybe if I don't actually need a fourth move, wish is never a bad option because then I can get a fast wish pass into something with like uh, Volt Switch after. Um, it's also really good momentum because actually the one thing my team is lacking at the moment is like momentum. So I only have U-Turn on Orbital and Volt Switch on Raichu. I'm saying that I do have the Tom Pass on Umbreon as well. Um, yeah, I just think it's an electric type that can hit rock and like, or not rock, sorry, ground types with Surf or Grass Knot. So there's not many things that can, like not many ground types anyway, that can switch into this thing safely. Even Gastrodon and um, Seismitoad, both quad weak to grass and I can run Grass Knot for that. Like, I think this thing's going to be uh, a secret little threat that people probably won't prep for as much as they they could. I could even run Blunder Policy on this with Sweet Kiss. I, you can't just put Blunder Policy on anything. Watch yeah, me. I think, I think, watch me. I think the, the, the two that you should run the Blunder Policy on, we already talked about. This doesn't feel like Blunder Policy. At this point. No, it's probably right. like a, a, choice, a choice, maybe Mon or like a Life Orb, or... If I wanted nasty plot, maybe like uh, focus sash or something. The thing is, you could you could run mixed. You could. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to mute here in a second. I apologize. <laughs> the train is coming back. Oh lord, uh, I'll let I'll, I'll unmute. Oh, lord, you guys take it away. <laughs> Troy Troy had a, a, a stiffy for Raichu earlier. So Troy, what do you want to say about uh, about Raichu? So I mean, I I actually use Raichu in the in the last. Uh, those of you who will remember, um, right, I'm not sure how many people I've stuck around since then. It's been a while, uh, but um, yeah, some of you might remember that I uh, used Raichu back in Gen Six when we did the PPL, um, and obviously, like there, it had like slightly more um, like priority options. But um, yeah, one of the one of the key things about the kind of fast electric type is having access to you know, a fast Thunderbolt and, you know, switch initiative. And um, whilst, whilst uh, like, with the hidden power being removed, it removes kind of Bolt Beam uh, offensive synergy. Mm. Um, it's still, the, the fact that it still gets Surf, the fact that it still gets things like Grass Knot, like, it deals with a lot of threats that it would normally have, a, like, another team would have a switch in for. Mm. So, yeah. I mean, Raichu is great. Uh, rate it very highly kind of jealous you got it um but i think it didn't really fit my team and maybe i'm just trying to tell myself that so i don't cry myself yeah. to sleep um I just but need the speed to be honest and actually it works with gyarados really well um i can bait the electric type attack into lightning rod yep. raichu um plus it also works the other way if i'm going to get hit by a ground type attack i can go into a gyarados so again as energized as well there with, with the team yeah, I'm just. I mean, I've used Raichu before in draft format myself, and I feel like it's a mon where you look at it on paper and it shouldn't do much. It's a bit like Noivern to me, where people don't expect Noivern to do much, and then it comes, and then they're like, "Crap, I haven't got anything for it." So I'm, I'm hoping Raichu can have the surprise kind of factor, like like that, mm -hmm. especially offensive, a bit bulkier than you might remember, because it's got eight, base eighty special defense, which isn't too bad. Its physical defense is not worth mentioning, but. Yeah, um, that's Raichu. Was, was is Ethan back? Did we hear Ethan giggle? Welcome back. He is welcome. Train back. Okay, well, <laughs> right, so, <laughs> the next pick, uh, round eight, was actually um, one that Ethan suggested to me. It's not something I was going to go for originally. I think originally myself, I was going to go for Doug Trio. At this point, um, you were going to get Doug Trio. Yes. <sighs> I'm actually really glad you didn't get Doug Trio. For some speed and for some arena trap shenanigans, but Ethan talked me out of it. And probably it's it's probably for the best because I'm like, I only have Defog at this point. Um, yeah. But I do get some more bulk because, you know, all Beetle, Umbreon, and Galarian Weezing wasn't enough on its own. We are going to go for <laughs> Elder Goss. So this is something that I looked at originally when I saw the games first come out. And I was like, yo, this. Um, what's it called? Toxpex and Reuniclus. Reuniclus as a regenerate core is actually gross. And Tangrowth isn't a thing anymore in in the game. It's kind of like a reverse Tangrowth. It, I'm pretty sure it's more specially defensive, right? Um. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's actually, got like a hundred. It's got base ninety defense and hundred and twenty special defense. 
Yeah. So I've got three mons with base 120 special defense. Just saying that. <laughs> if only the meta was special. <laughs> I mean, a base 90 defense. Umbreon's got base 110. I'll just leave. And actually, no, didn't... Yeah, all beat also has base 110. It's almost like they can all be either. Um, yeah, Elder Gods, <laughs> I think the main draw to this was Regenerator and Rapid Spin. I didn't need a Cleric, um, but it's a nice option to have because it frees up more moves on Weezing. And we've already discussed that Weezing, um, its move pool is ridiculous, and no doubt I'm going to suffer from four move syndrome at some point with Weezing this season. So taking that away from Weezing. Um, and maybe even Umbreon, although there's not much else Umbreon can do. Um, yeah, I think it's just like a nice a nice thing to have. Um, I'm not too weak to ground. I'm not too weak to fire. Um, but it, it, it'll work nice. It'll synergize well with a lot of the team again. I'm looking at its move pool. Its move pool isn't as deep as some of the other things I've got. I think it literally gets Pollen Puff. Um, what else does it get that hits stuff like Energy Ball, Giga Drain? That's about it. But it does get, like, the powders, so it does get stun spore, it does get poison powder. Poison powder could be quite interesting, actually, considering toxic isn't a thing anymore. Um, well, that, that's what I was literally about to say. I yeah. think, especially on this team, having something, like, with leech seed and poison powder, like, it's a, it's a designated good grass type. Yeah. Plus, also, doesn't poison powder just do a steady 12%? So after rocks, yes. poison powder, like, mm. that's a quarter of your health gone. What are you going to do? It's guaranteed chip, yeah. yeah. Um, which is especially if you're trying to like get rid of slightly bulkier ones so that an offensive one can come back in, like having that just kind of gradual residual damage, I think is going to be quite good. Yeah, and it gets sleep powder as well, actually. I've just noticed that. Too. Mm. Oh, and it gets hyper voice. Um, oh, True sub! <laughs> it gets uh, grassy terrain, so I could even set that up as well. That, that I think the terrains are going to be really, really important, I think. Um, mm. Because you have some of the drafts that have got Indeedee, um, other ways of setting up different terrain. Like, yeah, I think people kind of sleep on those. Um, I think so you can having make a... all of the terrains other than psychic terrain. Because uh... Raichu right, right gets electric terrain, this gets grassy terrain, and Weezing's ability is Misty Surge. So I can change all of the terrains if, if I need to. Um, but I don't know if there are many drafts that are terrain based. There's definitely some weather based teams. Oof, yeah. Um, which Gross. I don't think there's many pe things people can do about that anyway. Um, but but yeah, like I, I think Elder Gloss is just here to be fat and annoying. Basically, I don't see it feeling, fulfilling much else of a role because its attack stats aren't really good enough. Yeah, I mean it, it's 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 just it's it's there to be a cleric to lay some seeds maybe poison some things and then get the heck out of dodge mm. it's it's yeah. very specific but uh, that isn't necessarily you know a bad thing like cartana was very specific well that's a bad example but it's, you get what i'm saying i mean it's also not quite as passive as umbreon base 80 special attack it can do damage if it needs to like in case something starts setting up a sub in your face for example I guess the other thing we haven't touched on, and probably something you won't see much because Regenerate is just such a good ability. Um, I'm surprised he didn't get nerfed, you know, to something like 25%. But, yeah. Um, it does get cotton down as well, and I think uh, Troy's meme brain was working in overdrive with this. Cotton down <laughs> low, lowers the speed of the Pokemon that hits it, so if I do come across against, like, across like a, a physical sweeper, that's been set up. I can lower its speed. I can run red card. No, what was it? Eject button. Eject button, yeah. Eject button. Get the hell on out of there, and then go into something to revenge kill the, the sweeper. So kind of like, it's an option that I could have as well to prevent a, a scary sweep, if it is a speedy sweep, not like a, a bulky, calm mind type sweep. So yeah, I think Elder Gloss could be kind of fun. Um, penultimate pick. At this point, there wasn't much left in the draft, um, and I think I had enough points for an a like a tier 2 and a tier... Five, I think that's what it was. Yeah, we'll go with that. So next, I end up picking Crawdon. So it's kind of duplication on the water types and dark types, which is not normally what I'd go for. 
But my team, at this point, the one thing it is lacking is priority. And this thing's obviously got adaptability. Aqua Jet, does it still get knockoff? I don't actually know if it does still get knockoff. Mm, I don't think it does. Not. Uh, uh, no, it does. No, it does. actually, it does. I remember looking it up, yeah. So it's actually one of the few things that still get knockoff, because obviously knockoff isn't yet a uh, move to move. Um, it's got Dragon Dance. I've got sticky web support. I've also got um, cotton down support. I guess if you want to say that, um, this thing's move pool is actually really good. Like I've only just looked at it for the first time. It gets nasty plot now. Did, was that a thing before? Like I don't. Does it, I mean, does, it, does, it's does it rarely a consideration. <laughs> Wait, yeah. it's got ninety special attack. Yeah, Wait, I didn't 90, know that. It's got ninety special attack, so it doesn't have to be physical. Um, but, I mean, it gets close combat now. I'm pretty sure that's new. I'm pretty sure it always used to have to rely on swords, on a superpower. Superpower, yeah. So the close, co close combat is just a straight up. Yeah. Like, for fairies, it actually gets sludge wave and sludge bomb as well. So if I ro was running nasty plot on that. It gets liquidation, so I don't have to worry about crab hammer missing. Blunder policy crab hammer. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> wait, if it, wait, 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 wait. If Blunder policy. You could run something like uh, uh, Blizzard. You could run uh, Guillotine. This is spicy. I like Actually, Blunder policy, Guillotine. Hold on. <laughs> and if no. it, just imagine if it hits. <laughs> just imagine if it hits. Blunder that policy, Guillotine. That puts if you're a Jolly Max Crawdon, that puts you at like four sixty four. Uh, fifty-eight. Is this played at level uh, hundred or fifty? We're playing 50. at level one hundred. What are we? We're playing at level one hundred. Standard oh, draft no. rules are level fifty, aren't they? I don't know. I don't like, know. yeah, this thing could be scary fast. I mean, it's it, yeah, it's also got the coverage, so it obviously gets close combat. It gets aqua jet, um, crab hammer. If I really want to run liquidation, night slash, but I would run knockoff. Can run special with nasty plot, hydro pump, surf, dark pulse. Sludge Bomb, Sludge Wave, Superpower. Um, it's got classic Swords Dance, so if I don't need to care about speed, good luck surviving a knockoff slash Aqua Jet slash Liquidation from this thing. Um, it gets X Scissor, it gets Taunt. Again, another Taunt user. Probably not one I'm going to run Taunt on. Um, nice little Schooled user, actually. That could be a nice little tech that I could bring to a game. I'm just looking at all the other sort of things. Oh, it gets Ancient Power. I'm going to get all the boosts <laughs> with Ancient Power. Um, so... If we, sorry, if we're going, if assuming we're we're assuming it's a bit, if we're a, a level fifty thingy guy with the stuff, um, whatever it is, uh, league, oh. Oh. um, so level fifty crawdon hits one hundred and seventeen speed times two that puts you at two hundred uh thirty four, which means that you are faster than anything not scarfed. You're faster than. Uh, positive uninvested. Sorry, what does this say? Yeah, positive, positive natured. Uh, ninjasks, scarf, um, scarf excadrill, uh, scarf Charizard, nine tails flygon. Basically, like scarf base one hundreds. Pretty sure most of them died to Aqua Jet anyway. Rotoms. <laughs> Uh, the Rotoms, yeah. That's, that's, yeah. Komo'o, Rillaboom, uh, it's, it's a relevant speed tier, is basically what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. I'm so gonna run Blunder Policy, Guillotine, Guillotine. one week. That's and so gimmicky. That's such a great late game sweeper, though. <laughs> like, it's so gimmicky, if I, but like, if I, I, I have... all his walls, someone's walls down to like 50%. Well, that's—I mean, like that's the thing, right? Like, like, like you go for guillotine on a wall that realistically can't do a whole lot to you. Yeah. Worst case scenario, you miss. You get the blunder policy. Mm -hmm. Best case scenario, you kill. The Actually, you kind of want to miss. You do in that kind of situation. I mean, it's yeah. You're more unlucky to actually hit the guillotine at that point. Kill the thing. But it's also a free kill. Like there could be something else that I could set a blunder policy up. So. I, I've got a, I've got a distinct feeling that one hit KO moves are banned, but don't no, no. Where did um, ever uh, say that? Wait, I mean, 
Where, where's the any, rules? Any, any draft league ever would ban one hit KO moves. Where are the rules? There's no rules. There's no rules here. <laughs> Fine. Blunder policy blizzard. That's literally the Fine. next <laughs> least accurate move I can think to run. But then it's also, that, that's pretty good. I wish it got Focus Blast, because that always misses. It, it does. That, those are the rules. They are the rules. Never mind. Right, anyway, if Guillotine is allowed, <laughs> excellent. If not, it still gets Dragon Dance. It still gets Swords Dance. I still have Speed Pass. Um, yeah. I think it's going to be really fun to use. Probably more so than Gyarados. This also means I don't have to run Offensive Gyarados every time. I can bring Defensive Gyarados. If I do want an offensive water type. Mm. Anyway, because this video is now 45 minutes long, we're going to get on to the last model, <laughs> uh, which is just a tier 5, and there wasn't like many great things in tier 5 at, at the start, let alone at the point it got to me in the draft. So I thought I'd go for some speed, and by going for some speed, I mean literally the fastest thing in the game, I think. Yes. Hey, uh, yeah, the, absolutely. The, the fastest. Big, the, the fucking man. If anyone gets that reference, then you're cool. You cool people. I <laughs> you two don't get the fucking man reference, though. No. Uh, no. Uh, none of you guys ever watched NBZ, did you? No. This, this makes me sad. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> we've got Ninjask, and there's not a lot Ninjask does other than, like, speed pass, maybe with sword stance. I don't know what the rules are on baton passing in this game. Well, that's I, I just um <laughs> added Aaron regarding, like, Baton pass, and stuff like that. Mm. Um, yeah, I think baton pass is that you can pass any stats as long as it's not like stats plus speed. Does that, that make sense? sense? Yeah. That makes so sense. you can't you can't pass a D dance. You can't pass like an ancient power boost, but you can pass like just speed boost four four CMs and and like four curses. Yeah. Um. I'm fairly sure, although curse would impact speed. So it'd be interesting to see whether the take is that you can't have any speed modifiers. That's a um, very situational thing, though. It like, is, but I want to know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. Ninja Ask, like, I think it's actually slept on. It's got base nunny attack. Like, yes, you can run speed boost, but you don't necessarily need it. And its other ability is Infiltrator, which is really good as well, as really sort of explained with Chandelure, it gives me another U-turn mon. So actually, I have now got two U-turn mons and a Volt Switch mon. Yeah, that's all I've got for momentum sort of moves. But it does get the nice and buffed Leech Life from Gen 7. It gets Acrobatics. It gets Night Slash. It gets Final Gambit. I could just run, you know, just a YOLO set and just Final Gambit something. To yeah, have. max HP, Final Gambit. And yeah, that's not bad. That be quite a cool idea, especially if, like, there's one thing that, say, stops... Crudon or Gyarados or Duraludon or Chandelure. Like or even if my opponent's just got one ground type and then Raichu is just just free at that point to do whatever it wants. Um that could be nice and memey. I might may very well bring that one day. Um I did watch a friend play their game with Ninjask and they bought what did they bring? They used Focus Sash Sword Dance Speed Boost, I think, and they just proceeded to sweep with acrobatics. What? So, oh, and dig. They had dig as well. Not even power herb. Just, just dig. <laughs> it was great. Um, yeah, like I don't have a lot to say about ninjas to be honest. Other than I really like ninjas and I'm actually really excited to use it because I think many people again will probably sleep on it slightly, especially with the inclusion of heavy duty boots. What an item that thing is! I love so heavy good. Duty boots. No yeah. longer do I have yeah. to worry about stealth box, and it actually makes it a viable defogger. Which is insane, like Which Ninjas insane. being a viable I mean, defog. It's, it's still only got base 45 defense and 50 special defense, but, you know, like, if I bring it in, like, offensively and my opponent's going to switch out and I know he's going to switch out, free defog. Why not? Yeah, I think it... it also, the heavy GB is just so much better now that so few, like, so few mons actually have access to knockoff. Mm. Um, like, the actual list, the actual pool of mons is so much smaller um, now that it's not a tutor move, um, right, and it's like mo like random monster don't get access to it. So like, heavy duty boost is a sick item. Okay, yeah, it might not be. You might not win a game with heavy heavy duty boots like ninjas, but 
just generally speaking, it's very, very good. Yeah. So that's the team. I don't really have much more to say, to be honest, because the video is now 50 minutes long. And I said, oh, <laughs> edit it down. I believe in you. Below, but that didn't work. So, yeah, that's the team. Um, the big, no, hang on. When the week one starts on the 10th of February, yeah? No, no. Okay, okay so this, I think I figured oh, it out. I'm okay. so confused by this. <laughs> I figured it out. So, we will be playing matches the week prior to the videos going up. So we will be playing. So as the week one video goes up, we will be playing week two. So uh, this coming week, we'll be playing week one. Um, week this video is going. Up. Yeah. So this will be going. So this video will be going up um, on the 16th. Mm -hmm. uh, and then every Sunday from then on, you'd be getting a weekly match upload. Right. So week one will be going up the 23rd. So you guys have got nearly three weeks to wait. Well, no, because oh, well, no, this is this is the, it's going up because <laughs> our our the battles are going up next week well, we for them. Yeah. But for yeah. us, we're playing week Time one magic this coming week or earlier if we wanted to. So we're glad Ethan's here because otherwise me and Troy are probably just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. No, look, on. this is only because I keep bugging Aaron all the time because I don't know what's going yeah, on. <laughs> But yeah, we we us three we're we're scheming. We're trying to take this league down together. I'm just glad Bye. that only Troy and Ethan have to play each other because then we play we, I, we play each other week one. Yeah, week one. You've got Troy versus Ethan to look forward to. Um, I have what a throwback. Game, but, but yeah, PPL you play um, like... you play who do you play? I I just had it up. You play Puck. You play. I have no uh... idea who that is. Puck Bud. Puck Bud. What a name. No, I've never played not... Puck, so I imagine it's going to be quite interesting because we won't know each other. Oh, later. God. He's the rain team. He's the rain team with Gothitelle. <laughs> oh, my God. Aww. Yeah, have have fun with that one, bud. I play him, too. What's Ludicolo's, we'll what's Ludicolo's speed? Ludicolo. I don't think you're worried about Ludo. I don't think you should be worried about Ludicolo. I think you should be worried about Barrascuda. Uh, yeah. Because yep. Barrascuda is crazy. It doesn't even need Swift Swim. No, it doesn't. Base 136 out of the box. But this is where Ninjas comes into play. <laughs> it's still slower. Uh, speed Boost. Yeah, Protect. Speed Boost. Life Orb. Barrascuda's I... got Paper Fin Defenses. Yeah. Before we end the video, let's do a calc, guys. <laughs> but he's that also got fair. Seismitoad, Ludicolo Seismitoad is base 74 Ludicolo is base 70 uh, He's got Heliolisk Which is, you know, base 109 So it's already fast out of the box uh, Whimsicott, because I guess you can run Tailwind, Rain Dance So things are super, super fast Right, so let's put Jolly At least Gosh. Shadow Tag doesn't affect with flying types life. anymore. Life orb. 252. Oh, leech life to 76 to 91% to Barrascuda. That's life orb? Adamant life orb. Jolly life orb. Could try Ooh. Adamant life yeah, orb adamant. Is 83 to 99. So after rocks. It'd it's kill. Roll in my favor. Which we all know wouldn't work. <laughs> Because <laughs> that's how it, that's, how... that's how it works. Seventy five percent chance to Oko. But I expect if he is running Swift Swim, he probably won't have to run much speed and can run bulk. Yeah. But, yeah, almost certainly. I mean, we're theory crafting way too early. Like, I can run toxic spikes. I can run rocks. I can run all that jazz. Plus, I have Elder Goss. See, this is where Cotton Down comes into play. <laughs> Cotton down, red card. Cotton down, red card. Exactly. Like, well, maybe not red card. Maybe just cotton down. With yeah. I Jerry. mean, once it, once you kill once you kill the Pelipper and the Whimsicott, I think you're okay. Mm. Oh, oh, and the Fair Seed. I have Chandelier. I don't know if that's going to be doing much in the rain. Anyway, we can we can talk about this later. We can. Yeah, we've rambled on, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Make sure you check out the analysis of both Troy and Ethan. Um. I'll leave the links to whatever they want me to leave links to in the bottom. YouTube, Twitter, Twitch. I don't know. 
Amazon PayPal. List, PayPal. Yes, PayPal. <laughs> um, I don't have anything else to say, guys. Do you have anything else to add at all? No, it's, I think this went this went well. I think all of us drafted relatively well. Troy, your video is going up pretty soon, or your your we'll you should be recording, recording yours anyway. pretty soon. Yes, yeah, yeah. I'd say waiting on a couple of bits to to arrive, and then we'll have the to draft and add this up. The yeah, then, the big big return. Yeah, and right, then well, anyway, thank you for joining me to do this video, guys. It's a lot nicer to do it with yeah. people rather than talk to yourself for an hour. So, yeah, absolutely. Um, Thank you for watching, guys. Subscribe if you aren't already. Make sure you stick around to see week one. Again, the rain team. God knows how that will go. Um, <laughs> and I will see you next time. Bye.